okay i made that intro so that i can show you how an intern still look like usually interns have a lot of workload in the college and they also come back in the room and waste a lot of time due to living in the hostel or in the pgs so if you are an intern and you want to start your neat mds preparation this video is solely for you hi my name is dr prabhu patel and today we are going to talk about how you can start your preparation and internship without wasting so much time so let's begin see there are four ingredients for success number 1 goal just remember a goal without a deadline is just a fantasy a goal with a deadline and proper planning is an intention you have but a goal with proper deadline planning and your consistent action equals success so you need all four of these ingredients so let's talk about these ingredients in detail the first thing to think is what is your goal why you want to start your preparation for neat mds it can be anything your parents don't have enough money for your mds you want to do it from government institution you want to do do it from a private good private institution or a deemed institution you want oral surgery from a good government college you want prosto from a good government college it can be anything what is your goal define it and then work on it next ingredient is deadline you need to set a proper deadline see let's just assume that your exams will be in the month of march so you have approx 8 months july august september october november december jan feb so let's just leave the last two months that is january and february for a revision basis only you need to do revision in those two months or else you will forget everything now you have 6 months from july to december now these 6 months you need to use for your preparation first of all for your completion of the content of all the subjects the second as many question banks you can practice you should if you can do it one time two time three time just do it number 3 if you have joined any coaching or institution do its question bank or the app they they usually give the subscription so use that complete that solve as many exams and revision exams in the coachings that they are giving do that so you have to do that in the 6 months and along with that you have to do proper revision like do just a, a, a subject revision usually daily or in two two days three days time period you have to do so that you don't forget so you need to set a proper deadline and i think for most of the subjects you need to follow this schedule i'm telling just divide the subjects in 6 month that is 180 days and you can do it like this for dm i gave 12 days for oral path oral medicine and oral radiology 15 days pedo 7 ortho 7 prosto 12 prosto is a big subject you need to give a lot of time cons and endo combined 5 and 7 days cons you can give 5 days and endo you have to give 7 days at least then oral surgery 9 days public health 9 days and perio 7 days perio is a vast subject but it's quite easy compared to the other final year subjects so you have you can give only 7 days that's enough so the final year subjects combines to a 90 days now moving on to the basic subjects anatomy you have to give 8 days anatomy is a volatile and a tough subject i think you need to give at least 8 days biochem 6 days actually you should not give 6 days but for the first read you have to give those many days physio 8 days physio is a vast subject and you have to give a lot of time to it dental anatomy and dental histology combined 8 days or you can divide it into dental anatomy 3 days and dental histology 5 days you can shuffle it according to yourself general pathology 6 days in enough micro 9 days micro is a vast subject and a pretty volatile one you need to give at least 9 days then pharma pharma see pharma you have to study every day a little just give jab just a lot one hour every day for pharma and you will be good to go medicine 9 days and surgery 6 days this amounts to a total of 60 days for the basic subjects see now the total becomes 150 days i said you have to divide it into 180 days now the next 30 days that is the one month that remains is a buffer see you won't be studying continuously i have skipped days i have had burn out like i studied today for 10 hours then i am, then i was not able to study the next day so you will have the same days to yourself because your schedule will be too hectic you will be doing hospital duty and then you will be studying for the exam it will be too hectic for you so you will be leaving some days in which you are not studying at all 
so use these days to adjust them in between and use them efficiently now we have covered two points that is the one is the goal and the other is the deadline moving on to the third point that is a proper plan you need a proper plan to accomplish what you have thought say internship you have less time so i prepared a plan i used it during my internship days so you can use it too so i'll divide them into three part plan see first part you have to use in the july august september second use in in the next three months that is october november december and the last one in the month of jan and feb see in many colleges you do not get leave during internship but in some you get so take it take the leave in the last three months that will be very beneficial for you to do revision and proper practice of the mcqs in the last months for july august september follow this 8 to 4 you will be in the internship 4 to 5 you will be having a tea break after the internship chilling out or coming back to the hostel room now from here on i have divided this plan into two parts see some people come back from the internship and take a nap and then they start to do their work or study and some they just come and start studying immediately so according to the needs i have divided into two parts so the first who come and take a nap for them come back to the room by 5 5 to 6 take a nap or a break from 6 to 8:30 this is your slot one for studying it will it will be approx 2 or 30 minutes moving on 8:30 to 9:30 you will have your dinner go to your mess or go to your uh, kitchen to cook something eat moving on 9:30 to 12:30 3 hours of slot 2 studying 3 hours then 12:30 to 1 am take a break do your chores whatever you have to do then 1 to 2 do a proper revision and just sleep this is for the ones who take a nap after the internship then moving on for the ones who do not take a nap follow this see during the course of a preparation you have to decrease sleep as you have already less time so you have to compromise with some things and here sleep is one of the thing see i do not recommend that you decrease your sleep to like 2 hours or 3 hours at least 5 to 6 hours is essential for you but you have to reduce the afternoon naps so 8 to 4 internship 4 to 5 you you will take tea or have a chat with your friends after the internship 5 to 7 slot 1 for studying that is for 2 hours 7 to 8 30 slot 2 for studying that is 1 hour 30 minutes 8 30 to 9 30 the same dinner for you 9 30 to 12 30 slot 3 3 hours you can do revision you can do mcq whatever you like you have to do in this three is a 12 30 to 1 o'clock take a break do your chores whatever you have to do prepare for the next shift whatever what whatever you want to do do that then at 1 you can sleep because you have already started studying from 5 or you can extend it for 1 to 2 pm to do a revision further follow this for the first three months it is july august and september moving on for the next three months that is october november december you have to follow you have to increase the time of studying and for the three months when you follow the first plan you will have a mentality that you have to sit on a table chair and study this will be your mentality you would have set a proper pace that you have to study for at least 5 to 6 hours so you can increase or amp up that phase and study more so follow this now the people who take a nap after internship they have to cut it short take a 10 15 minutes nap or don't take at all just sleep at night so this is this one time table is for october november december 8 to 4 internship yeah in internship you also get free times when you are not doing patient you are just sitting on the desk try to do mcqs from the mcq bank try to do as many mcqs you can you have to do that else you won't be able to com- complete the mcq books 4 to 4:30 t come back to room by 4:30 4:30 to 6:30 slot 1 then 6:30 to 6:45 take a break 10 15 minutes break is sufficient 6:45 to 8:30 slot 2 that is a uh, 1 hour 45 minutes for studying then 8:30 to 9:15 decrease the time of your dinner and moving on 9:15 to 11:15 slot 3 2 hours of studying do some light revisions or mcqs do in that 11:15 to 
do your chores whatever you want to do i'm sorry 11:15 to 12:15 revision do more revision or if you want to read something fresh read that then 12:15 to 1 am do the do your chores whatever you want to do then one to do final revision and then just go to sleep you need that 6 hours of sleep remember that now the last two months see the last two months are very crucial to your study as you will be you will have exams just after it and you need to do as much practice of the mcqs remember the volatile points as much because those are the key points key things that you will remember in the exam and that will help you score the exam if possible take the leaves for two months last two months if not follow this for the month of january and feb 8 to 4 internship 4 to 4:30 team tea break 4:30 to 6:30 slot 1 6:30 to 8:30 slot 2 8:30 to 9 dinner you have to decrease the time of your dinner just go to your mess eat dinner and come back without chatting with your friends if you want to chat chat 5 minutes then come back because you have more things to do remember that 9 to 11 slot 3 revision for 2 hours 11 to 12 do your chores or decrease that from 11 11 to 11:30 12 to 2 slot 4 for studying if you are not sleepy study for 2 to 3 that is 1 hour and do some mcqs at 3 sleep c take proper breaks in between if you are not able to study take at least 5 to 10 minutes breaks it is sufficient for you but if you have been studying constantly for this long you will be able to last longer on the table and you will be able to study more so now to follow all this you need to do certain sacrifices i'm calling this sacrifices because it feels like that i have done that and i think you you should do it too see you have to limit your screen time number 1 you have to see this is the culprit this decreases our attention attention span this this takes a lot of time of us and you have to decrease that decrease the time of your sports or outings you have to do it avoid the hostel parties birthday parties all kind of party we are, we all have that avoid them see you have to avoid all these thing and just remember people who are close to you people who who are really your friends will understand that you are preparing for the exam and will give you time and those who don't don't give them just focus on your studies just remember it's your future you are making the concrete decision so you need to make them fast the last ingredient that is your consistent action see you can have the perfect plan the perfect books the proper deadline but if you do not have your will or you do not put your consistent efforts you won't get anything if you don't have the will you move you won't move a single inch so start your preparation with motivation and just be consistent with it just start showing up start sitting on your desk it will build a habit see habit building is very important see in the starting you have motivation to start the preparation but motivation fades with time so you need consistent action and this consistent action is your habit you need to build the habit of sitting on the chair for 6 to 8 hours at least that's how you that's how you start studying that's how you do the mcqs and that's how you prepare for an exam like this see it's not a sprint it's a marathon remember that you have to do this for a long period of time 8 months at least you have to do this remember that so that's all the ingredient you need for success just use them and you will do good all the best